Hey, welcome back to Metroid 3. We're doing a great big huge item collection spree. Now that we have the grappling beam, we have pretty much everything we need to get most of the items in the game. Everything on all the RAs we passed. So all the stuff could have been gotten, well most of it could have been gotten much earlier. Much earlier. So this game's easy enough that I never really, really needed it anyway. There we go. Should be an energy tank. Yes it is. <clears throat> yeah, this, this is the second and last time we'll be coming to most of these areas. So we've got lower criteria coming up next, and then, yeah, all that good stuff. I Ah, oh, throat feels dry today. Uh, there's st there's some one one thing here you need the grappling beam for. That's why I didn't come here earlier with when I got the power bombs. Not much point in killing those guys. Now the E-Tank here, I think I mentioned you could have gotten it at the beginning of the game with like bomb jumping, t bomb jumping tricks, or with the Ice Beam, or what have you. This one here, it's just like in the first, first Metroid game. But the item just above me, we, we would have needed the, uh, the gravity suit to get it. That's why I waited, I waited till this long. This one's not obvious to find right away unless you have the scanning x-ray thing. And this room tricky is tricky too. I, I remember when I used to play this game, I never knew about the second missile tank in this game. Until I went through and like scanned everything. That one's easy to miss. Ow. Oh, we're ripping through pretty fast here. Still a couple more more things to get. Let's go dig out the ground in the mother brain's right. carcass. How do you say? Whatever you want to call that. Oh, I screwed up. I fell to the ground. Oh well. More missiles. We're never gonna run out now. Yeah, there's a certain boss fight coming up. Um, the Rid well, not coming up, really, but the Ridley boss fight. I remember I see run out of ammo on that guy because I only had like 140 missiles or something when I would get to him. So many hidden ones. Oh, I need the ice beam here, don't I? Yeah. Perfect. Yay, super missiles. That's the good stuff. 
That's all I really care about. Power bombs, pretty much useless. I think that's the fastest way to cross the grappling beams rather than going back and forth. I don't know. Probably take off my ice beam, although I might regret it if I need it again soon. I don't think I will. To the right, that's either a save point or a map room or something. This one you can get at the beginning of the game, as soon as you get the bombs from that mini boss, like the first episode. I probably should have gotten it back then, actually. It would have helped against um, Kraid. But, oh well. Okay, what else do we have to do? Um. I think it's everything. Yeah, yeah, I think that's everything in this region. We've come full circle now, of course, as you can see. Um, full circle around from when we exited the wreck ship all the way down through here, so. I'm just gonna backtrack here and straight to Meridia. With the lower tubular entrance. I don't remember if I have to use the the main entrance to Meridia as well to get some items. Oh, that's the one in the wreck ship, of course. So, if I do, I'll get there eventually. I don't think I do. I don't think there's anything good that way. Or not anything we can't get from the bottom up, at least. So, yeah. Huh, maybe I, I am running low on power bombs. I have been using them for everything, even when you don't really need them. Like all, all these places you could just use normal bombs with a wave beam on, but power bombs bomb so much faster. Oh, well, I can't really talk today. I'm like pronouncing everything wrong. Anyway. Yeah. There's nothing left for me to get. And yeah, I think Brian Star and Kateria are pretty much cleared out. If I've gotten anything, someone let me know, or I'll just figure it out on my own and come back. So that'd be kind of a waste of time, but I think I'm good. Do, 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 do. Is the music too loud? There we go. Oh, I missed that chunk. Oh, well. oh. Man, I forgot to hold on the run button here, I guess. That was close, too. What's wrong with me today? Jeez. There we go. You can break this any time, but there's no point to do it until you get the gravity suit. It just slows you down. You can also break it from the outside, too, I think. Um, actually, now would be a good time to save. Let's see what our time is at. Again, this is kind of a waste of time. It takes an extra 5 seconds, 10 seconds to save, but I want to know, okay? Sorry, I want to know. Let's see. Let's reset. One minute, ele uh, one hour, 11 minutes. It's not bad. It's not bad. So, can we make it under two hours? That's the challenge. Of course, three, ho three hours is the best ending. But two hours, I'm challenging myself to get the two hour mark. I don't know if I can do it. I've done it before, but I don't know. It's always close. I know. It's, I'm, I know. If I practice a lot, I can probably get that out to an hour and a half, but I don't know. I'm not that into it. Oh crap, this one. This one's really hard. You have to um, do a speed booster up from this little plant. Am I right? Or is it the second one? I forget. Oh, let's see. I guess I'm wasting time. I should just try and find out, right? Cost a super missile every time you do this, of course. Basically, open the gate. 
I'll make sure the door is open too. And then you have to, as soon as you get through the door, you have to push down and charge. So like right here, I think. Oh, maybe not. Well, I'm out of time. So, uh, yeah, be back next time for the real thing. We'll finish up Meridia and good to go.